Morning, everybody. It's 8.32 this morning, Monday, the 30th of January. Uh, and this is your pre-opening comment video number 1639. Okay, so we have a bunch of news this week and a bunch of earnings. A, 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 a hundred, 20% of the S&P 500 report this week. Although not many of them this morning, this morning it's kind of light. Uh, we have uh, GE Healthcare and Philips and SoFi, and um, let's just get to some of the news though. Uh, Bed Bath and Beyond closing 87 more stores. Um, you know, it's circling the drain. Should be pretty obvious, but I'm sure there are some jackasses out there who are going to trade it anyway. Um, and as I mentioned that, I'll also mention that the meme stocks have come alive, and uh, that is generally not a good sign when they get down to the bottom of the barrel with those stocks. Um, we also had uh, earnings this morning from SoFi, which was a beat, but with poor guidance. Regardless, the stock was as high as about uh, 641, up 47. Currently, 631, up 37, or about 6%. Uh, Phillips Group, also a beat. Uh, not great guidance there either, but laying off 6,000 workers, and the stock is 1796. That's up 97 cents, or just under 6 percent. Um, I want to mention that, you know, uh, we have Asia back today, and it's basically um, mixed. Europe is a little lower. Uh, but I have to address a couple of things that uh, I heard about over the weekend, and that is that... Um, New bull markets generally don't happen with a P.E. of 17. They generally happen with a P.E. of 11 or lower. And if you know what a pendulum looks like, if it swings too far in one direction, it doesn't come back to the middle and stop. It swings in the other direction. And so while this rally was very nice and there are 900 uh, teleprompter readers telling you, you know, why it's so great, it's not so great. So we'll have to see. Uh, Dow futures this morning uh, are down 195. I've seen them down as much as about 230. Uh, the NASDAQ uh, looks like down about 140. Um, a lot of uh, those uh, big uh, mega cap and fang type stocks had great weeks last week. I and, mean, you know, Tesla 34%. I mean, that's pretty amazing. Um, and so uh, we had a little bit of a sell off into the close uh, for the weekly options expiration. And um, you know, now we're unwinding. Uh, S&P was down about uh, 38. Uh, I now show it down about uh, 35. So we'll have to see how we go. We also, this week, besides the FOMC on Wednesday, we have an OPEC Plus meeting on Thursday. Uh, Thursday, we have uh, ECB and Bank of England, both early before the open. Uh, futures, a uh, little bit of weakness on Friday at, in the second half of the day in the oil, following through a little here, 79.13. But, you know, I've been writing about it and talking about it. There is a magnet in that market that keeps prices uh, from going too far above and too far below that $80 level. Um, and we have a lot of closes on weekly base right there. So, um, you know, I think we probably look higher regardless of what uh, they were saying in Europe today about uh, possible less demand for oil. I, I don't see it. Uh, heating oil down about three cents, gasoline down about three cents, net gas down another 16 cents, two dollars and 68 cents. And what a jackass I feel like having bought a couple of hundred boil on Friday looking for a rally. Um, I was going to take 
two dollars worth of risk and a dollar of that is already there uh, gold down a little two dollars and twenty cents um, silver up 18 cents copper down two and a half cents platinum up a little palladium up a little and if we could ever get this market all of the precious metals going in the right direction we'd see new highs okay uh the softs cotton down a little uh coffee up another half a dollar uh, sugar up 30 cents. I've been telling you about the sugar for a while. It is a huge uh, international inflation play. Um, uh, S&P, as I mentioned, uh, now down about 31, 126 in the um, NASDAQ and back to uh, down only 184 in the Dow. Dollar is slightly lower, Bitcoin and Ethereum slightly lower, bonds down half a price, half, pardon me, half a point. And, uh, you know, it seems to be working. Bonds down, which is rates up, and the dollar just, you know, not really doing much. It was 20 cents lower this morning. It was, you know, just a little bit higher so all right everyone uh lots of earnings today after the close nxp um the biggest one there also whirlpool so we'll see what it looks like uh, as far as uh housing upgrades and such caterpillar tomorrow before the open exxon mobile General Motors, International Paper, Marathon Petroleum, McDonald's, Moody's, Pfizer, plenty to choose from. I'll be back later.